Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James Grounded Family Bible Study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly, I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son, Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers 29. Continue with the feast in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. It's the day of the blowing of the trumpets unto you. So this is the feast of the trumpets. Ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord. One young bullock, one ram, seven lambs of the first year without blemish. Anybody keeping track? How many animals? We're in the seventh month. And the meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil. Three tenths deal for a bullock, and two tenths deal for a ram. And one tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs. One kid of the goats for a sin offering for an atonement for you. Besides the burnt offerings of the month, and his meat offerings, and the daily burnt offering, and his meat offerings, and their drink offerings, according unto the manner for a sweet savor, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. So, here is the seventh month, the first day. Now, let's go back real quick to 28, verse 3. And thou shalt say unto them, This is the offering made by, fi made by fire, which ye shall offer for the Lord two lambs of the first year without blemish, spot day by day, for a continued burnt offering. One lamb shalt thou offer in the morning, the other lamb thou shalt offer at even. Those two lambs at even in the morning, on the seventh day, I mean the seventh month, the first day, in addition to those lambs. And when we said in verse 3 and 4 of chapter 28, that's a minimum of 720 lambs a year. And we got these other feast days. Verse 7 of chapter 29, the day of atonement. He shall have on the tenth day of the seventh month a holy convocation. Ye shall, ye shall afflict your souls. Ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord for a sweet savor, a young bullock, this is after that morning lamb, <laughs> one ram and seven lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. In order to do right, I mean all these animals without blemish, without spot, without disease. And when Jesus shows up, the nation of Israel is disease, it's leprosy. They, how much leprosy have you read in the Bible so far? They're blind, they're deaf, they're lame, they're... And you can imagine what the animals are. Ye shall afflict your souls, ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord for a sweet savior. Sweet savior, now, this is what God eyes, eyes these sacrifices. I like that. I approve of that. When it comes to God, he, uh, he's not a vegetarian. Not once does, does God say, offer a head of lettuce. I want you to take some carrots and put them on that altar, and I want you to boil them. That's what Cain tried to do. And God said, I don't approve of that. Abel brought of the, of the, the flock that he had, and God approved of that. And look at what we're looking at here, an animals being sacrificed. And then one day God said, behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And that's it of the animal sacrifices as far as the church age. 
But these are coming back in the tribulation. These are coming back in the millennium. And none of these animals go to heaven. Oops, said something there. Verse 8, but ye shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord for a sweet savor. You know, when God smells that, when you smell a barbecue, you know, somebody's having a barbecue in, in your neighborhood, that smells good. And that's what God says, that smells good. And when God saw Jesus Christ suffer and die and burn in hell, God says, I like that, Isaiah 53. One young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offerings. Which is the flour mingled with oil. All right, there's meat, M-E-A-T, representing flour and oil. Three-tenths deal to a bullock. So every bullock you have, you got to offer the, the flour and the three-tenths deal of oil. Two-tenths deal for one lamb, ram, that ram. Two-tenths deal of that meat offering for every ram. A several-tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs. One kid of the goats for a sin offering. Besides the sin offering of the atonement. Now what's that? That's that, that's that time when the high priest went into the most holy place with the blood for himself. He came out and offered an offering and that blood for the congregation. He went into the most holy place and struck that blood on the mercy seat and came out. So not only do you offer the offering for the day of atonement, but you also have what we just read. Verses 7 to 11, in addition to the atonement of that high priest. You got more. Don't forget the lamb in the morning, and don't forget the lamb in the evening. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, besides the sin offering of the atonement, and the continued burnt offering, that's chapter 28, verses 3 to 5. That lamb in the morning, that lamb at night, that continued burnt offering. And the meat offering of it and their drink offering. Yeah, we read that chapter 28. On the 15th day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. Everybody gathers together. Um, I'm going to add a little extra. This is the Feast of Tabernacles. And there was one time recorded in the Bible that all Israel gathered together according to their tribes to be taxed. You shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work. You shall keep a feast on the Lord seven days. And then an eighth day, there was a certain child that was brought to the temple that appeared before Simeon and appeared before Anna. And the child was circumcised and given a name of Lord Jehovah saves. You shall offer a burnt offering. That child would grow up to be the burnt offering. A sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor to the Lord. He was proved, the Bible says, of God and man. Uh, well, watch this. The fire of the sweet savor to the Lord. Thirteen young bullocks. Wow, that's a lot. Two rams and fourteen lambs in the first year. Well, the baby was of the first year. Eight days old. And shall be without blemish. Jesus Christ without sin. Without spot. So this time of taxation. This time of the seventh month. The fifteenth day. They're all being gathered by their tribes for the taxation of the government. And they're also celebrating at this time of possible birth of a baby that would change the whole world. And look at the offerings. And their meat offering shall be a flour mingled with oil. Three tenths deal unto every bullock of the thirteen bullocks. Two tenths deal of each ram of the two rams. A several tenth deal to each lamb of the fourteen lambs. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering. Sin offering was Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow. Besides the continued burnt offering. Oh, you mean that morning... There was a lamb burnt, and then at the evening there was a lamb burnt. His meat offering and his drink offering. Why do you say that? Yeah, that's probably the best time that Jesus was born. And on the second day, uh oh, oh wait a minute. The feast of the tabernacles, the fifteenth. Now we got the sixteenth. 
part two, day two. You shall offer 12 young bullocks, two rams, 14 lambs to the first year without spot. And their meat offerings and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, besides a continued burnt offering, 28, 3 through 6, and the meat offering thereof, and the drink offering. On the third day, oh, three days, 11 bullocks, two rams, 14, la ram 14 lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offerings, the flour, the oil, and their drink offerings. For the bull, you notice how it doesn't even say flour and oil, it just says their meat offerings. And their drink offerings for the bullocks and for the rams and for the lambs shall be according to their number after their manner. One goat for a sin offering, besides a continued burnt offering, two lambs a day, and his meat offering and his drink offering. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. I had to do that. The meat offering and their drink offering for the bullocks, for the rams, for the lamb, shall be according to their number after the manner. I guess so while the shepherds are coming along. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, besides the continued burnt offering and the meat offerings and his drink offerings. On the fifth day, nine bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without spot. And their meat offerings and their drink offerings for the bullock and for the rams and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. One goat for a sin offering besides a continued burnt offering and his meat offerings and his drink offerings. On the sixth day, eight bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs in the first year without blemish, and their meat offerings and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, for the lamb shall be according to their number after this manner. One goat for a sin offering, besides the continued two lambs every morning and every night, burnt offering, and the meat offering, and his drink offering. On the seventh day, seven days long, seven bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings, and the bullock for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after their manner. And one goat for a sin offering, besides a continued burnt offering, and his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the eighth day, the babies presented in Jerusalem to be circumcised. And at the circumcision of a male first child, firstborn child, that's the day he gets the name. You know, she'll call his name Jesus. And Simeon holds up this baby, and Anna sees this baby. And on the eighth day, he, he shall have a solemn assembly. I didn't see that. The second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, eighth day. But everybody gathered together that day for when Jesus would be circumcised and would be named. He shall have a solemn assembly. He shall do no servile work therein, but you can do circumcision. So when they accuse Jesus, you're working on the Sabbath day. My friend, you had to work on that day to circumcise Jesus that day. How's that? Circumcision was allowed to be done even if it was the Sabbath. Jesus' circumcision was not only the Sabbath. It was the Sabbath of the eighth day of the tabernacle. But you shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire, Jesus Christ, 33 and a half years later, of a sweet savor unto the Lord, one bullock, one ram, seven lambs of the first year without blemish. Their meat offerings, their drink offerings, for the bullock and for the ram, for the lambs, shall be according to their number after the manner. One goat for a sin offering, besides the continued burnt offering, the lamb in the morning, the lamb at night, and his meat offering, and his drink offering. And now there's no ninth day. There's usually seven days in the Jewish feast. Sabbath is the seventh day. But this feast of tabernacles, we have the eighth day. And the children were to be, male children were to be circumcised on the eighth day. That's the celebration of Jesus coming into the temple. That's the first time, verse 35, that Jesus would enter into that temple. 
That would be the day that the Levites, the priests, would help Jesus as they performed the circumcision. As his parents would say, we name him Jesus. These things ye shall do unto the Lord your set feasts. Besides your vows, addition to your vows, it would be more animals. And your free will offerings, that would be more animals. And your burnt offerings, that would be more animals. This is Leviticus 1 through 6 now. And for your meat offerings, that is the flour and the oil, no animals there. And for your drink offerings, that would be your wine. And for your peace offerings, I believe there was animals in that one. See all the animals, animals, animals. And Moses told the children of Israel according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses. And there is Jesus Christ right there in that verse. What? The day was born and the day he circumcised. A complete celebration. And you realize if the, if the nation of Israel was doing right. Let's say that time, that year that Jesus was born. I don't know what year it was. You realize that moment he's born, the whole nation is celebrating tabernacles. That moment that he's given the eighth day of the circumcision, the entire nation is celebrating the day that he comes into the temple. That's the first time he entered the temple with his mother and father. You know, Joseph, adopted father, with Jesus in the arms of Mary. And the Bible says she had to bring pigeons because she couldn't bring the lamb. She couldn't afford the lamb. Lambs in her arms. Amen. Mary had a little lamb. Its leash was white as snow. And when you see her statue, take the purple away because she was too poor to get one. How can she wear purple on an idolatry and can't afford the lamb? I'll tell you why. Because the lamb was in her arms. And that day that Mary did everything with the birth of Jesus through that circumcision is right here. Feast of Tabernacles. If that's the birthday of Jesus. And of all the sacrifices, it's the entire nation grouping together and honoring God. And God, there he is. God manifests in the flesh. 100% man, 100% God. There he is. Amen.